There are a number of unexplained ancient monuments all over our planet, one of the most synonymous of which, undoubtedly, is Stonehenge. Although another, the Great Pyramids, is one we have studied, finding newer casing stones, seemingly conservation efforts by later yet also now lost civilizations. Stonehenge, it would seem, has stood the test of time, not enjoying the privilege of having this later preservation attempt. Yet the resilience of the incredibly hard-wearing stones, which the monument was cut and built from, is an extremely impressive legacy within itself. Clearly of at least a Neolithic age, yet it has continued to encounter its fair share of vandalism during its long life. Significant amounts of recording damage has been recorded in known history. In the Victorian era, for example, chisels were sold to tourists to chisel chunks of the megaliths away, to take home as souvenirs. Now, fortunately, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, thus it is illegal to deface or vandalize the site in any way. Yet interestingly, new theories as to its original purpose continue to grow. One particularly extraordinary theory, being put forward by 62-year-old landscape architect Sarah Eubank, suggests that she believes the Stonehenge we see today represents a mere portion of a remaining ruin, of a single majestic building which once had a spectacular thatched roof temple. Although the theory is interesting in nature, there are countless other theories with incredibly strong, repeatedly provable experimental evidence, strong scientific theory, which corroborates the clock theory. Yet it still exposes the ancients' intimate solar knowledge the creators of the sites clearly possessed. Thus, it would seem, the true purpose of the henge was a solar clock, possibly a post-cataclysmic reminder. It is the site we always find highly intriguing.